there, my name is Sarah Hunt, and I'm the product manager for Adobe Edge Animate. I'm excited to tell you about the latest release of Edge Animate, which introduces new expressive features that allow you, web designers and developers of the world, to create content using the power of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There's three things I want to highlight about this release. We have CSS filters, animatable gradients, and advanced typography using Edge web fonts. Let's start with CSS filters. Up until now, special effects can only be accomplished by stacking multiple layers of imagery and using hide and reveal effects to show each layer. This increases the payload of your website and forces you to control multiple stacks of elements instead of a single image. With CSS filters, you can now apply effects that were previously only available to you in image editing software like Photoshop. Filters are especially powerful in animate and can be used on more than just images. You can apply them to images, text, divs, and symbols. Since CSS filters are a highly experimental feature, they're still making their way into all the popular browser channels. Currently, they're only supported in Chrome, Safari, iOS 6 Safari, and BlackBerry 10. But if you're targeting a mobile-first experience or want to give some flair to your website with some graceful degradation, then go ahead and see what you can make with them. Here at Adobe, we're contributing to the advancement of web standards every day, and you can see more awesome things like CSS filters make their way to the web with supportive tooling in the future. Next, I want to tell you about gradients. Gradients in Edge Animate not only allow you to style your elements, but they're fully animatable as well. This allows you to create some unique 2.5D effects by emulating light and depth. In this example, I've combined a CSS filter shadow with a radial gradient to give the illusion of light being cast on the sphere. The new gradients panel allows you to apply linear or radial gradients and adjust the gradient positioning for fine grain control. You can also choose how a radial gradient is applied based on properties found in CSS by click holding the radial icon. Last thing I want to show you is the introduction of edge web fonts. No longer do you manually have to juggle code to add rich typography to your compositions. Edge web fonts gives you access to a vast library of fonts made possible by contributions from Adobe, Google, and designers around the world. Edge web fonts are also powered by Typekit, so you can be assured of their dependability and stability. This will make it much easier for you to control typography in your Edge Animate compositions. Let's give it a look with some text on the stage. Click on the plus icon in the Properties panel to bring up the Edge Web Fonts dialog. You can sort through all the fonts, sort through filters such as serif, sans serif, headline and body fonts, and you can also manually search to find a certain font that you might want to use. When you click on the font, it automatically gets added to your library. Best of all, Edge Web Fonts are completely free and there's no limit to how many you can use in your Edge Animate compositions. There's lots of other great stuff to check out in this release of Edge Animate, available through any subscription tier of Creative Cloud. Thanks for using Edge Animate, and be sure to check out html.adobe.com to learn more about what you can find in this update.